I have found that since the surgery, I have no hung cues and I have no full cues. <laughs> Hi everyone, um, it's me, I'm back. Um, I am just over three weeks post-op. I haven't uh, posted much um, recently. Life has just been busy and there's really not been much that I can, I can report in. Um, been learning new foods to eat, new ways to eat. Um, I've, it's way day tomorrow. I've been trying to weigh myself once a month, um, but the, the 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 numbers I can give you was uh, my starting weight was um, 303, 303 pounds. My surgery weight was 226, and the last weigh in that I had to do with um, my. Uh, dietitian I did a had a zoom call with a dietitian and that latest weight was 212 pounds so including the azempic time um, my weight loss is down 84.6 pounds and I do I, I expect the weight to come off slowly because I have been losing it consistently um, for, for a good few months with the with the Azempic. I have found that since the surgery I have no hung cues and I have no full cues so a lot of the eating I'm doing is done by timing. Um, once I've eaten I, uh, I, I set a timer for the next meal um, I'll, I'll try and snack in the middle of that, but uh, th there's there's no desire to eat. So while there's no stomach hunger, the head hunger's coming back. Um, it's yeah, it's it, it, it's it's a challenge. Um, but if I didn't if I didn't have the timer, I could easily go all day without eating. And so that's not good. So I have to, I have to be very cognizant of, um, of, of of when I eat. I also did go through what, five weeks of liquid only diet. So when I started eating again, there was it, it was slow to move. So I found that once I had started eating and couldn't go, so to speak. Um, I had to bring in a, a, a daily soul, stool softener just to keep everything everything moving. Um, I have been making some mistakes. There's, um, there's a rule once you've had the gastric bypass or, or any gastric surgery that don't drink half an hour before you eat and don't drink half an hour after you eat. Don't drink while you're eating. And I was getting a bit cocky and I was thinking, oh, there's no, no, nothing's happening here. And and I, yeah, I, I made the mistake of, of drinking when I was eating and um, drinking too soon. So what's happening is I, I have the small stomach and the, the food sits in my stomach and it has a very tiny hole that it has to go through. So think of putting mashed potatoes into a funnel and the mashed potatoes have gone in and they just drip out the bottom of the funnel really slowly. So that's the way the food should be going down. Now you think of pouring water onto those mashed potatoes and they're just going to go whoomph and they're just going to go straight through your system. So you're not giving your system time to digest the food itself. So I've had to keep, uh, keep reminding myself that uh, I, I, I need to slow it down. I need to, to take the, put that timer on and put that water away. Because once I see the water, I want the water. Um, and even with the solids now, I'm still struggling to get my protein in. Um, so protein powder is, is 
going in a, in a lot of stuff. I'm still drinking the Premier Protein. I'm putting protein powder in the Premier Protein. I'm putting protein powder in my oatmeal in the morning just to get that, um, to get that protein in. But that also means I'm missing out on the fiber. I just, I, I'm either, I, I'm just, I sometimes I just don't hit any of the goals, water goals, protein goals, fiber goals. I, <laughs> I can struggle with all of them. Um, but I have been able to get my walking up um, started again. Um, I've done a five kilometer walk today. It was slow, but I am doing it. Um, and I, I, I did notice my energy level during that was was considerably different. Um, life plans. So, big update on the life plans. Um, you know that we were looking to to move out of here, so we found another condo. Unfortunately, the condo that we found is. Uh, is more expensive. It's less expensive than this condo was going to go up to, but in the overall scheme of what I wanted to pay, it is more expensive, but it is going to be perfect for us. My son and daughter will live with me for the next year. Um, so this place is going to be smaller. It's further out of town, it's going to be so quiet, there's going to be no stampede noise, there's going to be no sirens, hopefully there's going to be no crackheads. Um, it's a uh, two bed, two bath, so we've got that separation there. Um, bigger kitchen, much more workable kitchen, lots more storage space, it's going to be good for us. And the thing that I'm excited about is it is step one of my three-step life plan um so the the first one was move from here so stay in my fingernails oh my <laughs> the first one was um move out of here um into something that was more suitable for us next october is step two which is to to downsize stay there for three or four years and then then it will be the motorhome. Um, so there's not much more I can I can report in on. Uh, as I say, no real changes. There's no, I have not once though regretted getting the surgery. Really happy I did it. Really happy how easy it's gone. Just as I say, learning the new body, learning the new signals, but everything's going well. If you're enjoying following along with me, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next week or two. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.